Hello everyone, how are you? Today we are going to discuss another question regarding MRCS based on EMRCS. We will discuss all the question of EMR EMRCS, Fausia sheets and recalls. So here the question. An 18 years old man is stabbed in the neck and has to undergo repair of laceration to the internal carotid artery. Post operatively, he is noted to have a harness syndrome, which of the following will not be present. So, here you can see 18 years old man is stabbed in the neck and undergone repair uh, laceration of internal carotid artery. Post operatively noted harness syndrome, what will not be present? So, here uh, what of the following option is not related to the Horner's syndrome? So here you can see the options are apparent enophthalmos, loss of sweating on entire epsilateral side of the face, constricted pupil, mild ptosis, and normal sympathetic activity in the torso. So let's uh, uh, see the picture first here we can see the internal carotid artery in the first picture and in the second picture uh, here is the internal carotid artery and we can see the internal carotid artery encircling a structure um, which is a sympathetic plexus arising from superior cervical ganglion so from the superior cervical ganglion the sympathetic plexus arises and uh, they wrap the internal carotid artery and uh, goes to the upper part of the uh, body uh, then in the second picture we can see here the internal carotid artery and the sympathetic plexus in this picture and uh, from uh, uh, the sympathetic plexus uh, branch goes to the eyes and other area of the uh, head neck uh, area to supply uh, the organ or area and we can see the sympathetic nerve is going to the eyes supplying the uh, eye uh, in this picture, we can see here the superior cervical sympathetic ganglia. From here, the sympathetic flexus arises, and we can see here there is the internal carotid artery, and here the uh, sympathetic flexus wraps the internal carotid artery, and after that, it goes to the eye. So, any uh, so during repair of internal carotid artery, this uh, sympathetic flexus. Uh, may be injured or damaged. Uh, so here uh, we can see the anhy uh, dosis will be mild only a very limited area of the ipsilateral phase uh, will be an hydrotic. So anhydrosis is uh, present only a few area. So here we can see the Horner syndrome clinical features uh, the ptosis, meiosis, enophthalmos and anhydrosis. So these are the uh, feature of the Horner syndrome uh, following uh, injury to the sympathetic flexus around the internal carotid artery. The uh, feature will be present such as ptosis, myosis, enophthalmos and anhydrosis. And extent of the symptom depends upon the anatomical site of the lesion. Uh, this uh, line is important. So here our final answer is loss of sweating on the interipsilateral phase of the side. Uh, it is not true in case of Horner syndrome because in case of Horner syndrome, uh, loss of sweating uh, in a limited area or very smaller area. So other option, apparent enophthalmus, enophthalmus present in Horner syndrome, constricted pupil, that means meiosis, meiosis present and mild ptosis, ptosis also present. So our final answer which is not related to the Horner syndrome is loss of sweating on the inter side of the face. Thank you.